Today's scripture is from Matthew chapter 9, verses 32 through 39. Stand up for me against world opinion, and I'll stand up for you before God in heaven. If you turn tail and run, do you think I'll cover for you? Don't think I've come to make life cozy. I've come to cut, make a sharp knife cut between son and father, daughter and mother, bride and mother-in-law. Cut through these cozy domestic arrangements and free you for God. Well-meaning family members can be your worst enemies. If you prefer father or mother over me, you don't deserve me. If you prefer son or daughter over me, you don't deserve me. If you don't go all the way with me through thick and thin, you don't deserve me. If your first concern is to look after yourself, you'll never find yourself. Mm. But if you forget about yourself and look to me, you'll find both yourself and me. Amen. Amen. I don't think the thing will work is shining red at me today. Unmute it. Press it. Yeah, that ain't doing nothing. We don't do it without it. It'll be all right. So, was that rough? The part about the families hmm. and how if you don't lose yourself, you you think about yourself, then you've missed the bigger picture. That sounds like last week. Sounds like last week. We talked about that last week. You wasn't here. So what happened to last week? Well, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. Um, my favorite part. Is the first part and then the ending stand up for me against world opinion I like that part if you don't go all the way with me through thick and thin you don't deserve me if your first concern is to look after yourself you'll never find yourself but if you forget about yourself and look to me you'll find yourself and you'll find me I like that part See, we live in a world where, like we talked about last week, it's very easy to become consumed with all of the things that are you. You have bills to pay. You have a job to work. You have relationships that need your attention. You have friendships that need your attention. You have children and grandchildren and whatever. All. You have a lot. But that really wasn't what Jesus was talking about. The church I grew up in, there were certain groups of them that could be very cultish, kind of. And they would use this passage to basically say, y'all need your family. Hmm. Y'all need them. It says so right here. I came to rip you from your father, to rip you from your mother. Okay, so historically speaking, when Jesus was saying those words, Christianity wasn't a thing yet. Jesus was the new thing, living, breathing new thing and he was telling the people if you choose to follow me and you choose to do the things that I'm saying we should be doing it's going to cause trouble at home because what was home Judaism I mean they have been practicing their traditions their faith traditions for years and years and years so if you went home and said hey daddy I'm going to go follow the Jesus guy. I'm going to skip the temple thing and, and go follow Jesus. <laughs> Daddy ain't going to be happy with you. And that was what that part was about. But it's interesting because think about it. Even when Jesus was walking the earth, conflict. And he's warning them. Look, because I'm here and because I'm saying this is what matters, not this, there will be conflict. Fast forward to 2017. Has anything changed? Mm -hmm. We still live in a world of conflict. Mm -hmm. And let's be real. The more you try to follow what Jesus has told you to follow, the harder it seems to get with some folks. Mm -hmm. The more we try to move in the direction that we think the Spirit is guiding us, the harder it seems to get sometimes. Yeah. Why is that? Because conflict. We're told it's going to happen. The other problem we have is we are some emotional people. Yeah. Now, I'm going to talk about me. <laughs> I ain't going to talk about none of y'all. I'm going to talk about me. <laughs> I'm a hothead. I will tolerate so much of your foolishness 
and then that's it I'm done and we're gonna have us a meeting and we're gonna talk about it mm -hmm. and when we have that meeting and we talk about it I'm gonna try real hard not to be a hothead I'm gonna try to be calm and I'm gonna try to explain in the best way possible why this isn't working but then what happens your emotions come into play because you're gonna feel some kind of way when I come to you and say this ain't working for me no more <laughs> We're all human beings. We have emotions. We have feelings. We have all this stuff. And sometimes the stuff that we have isn't even about the current situation. Me and Sherry make jokes about there being skeletons. Like, you know, pirates had the big old chest, right? Supposed to have treasure in it. We make jokes about how our chests have bones. Hmm. And the bones are from your past. And sometimes those bones want to get up and rattle. And it's usually when something has happened. Your emotions are kind of beginning to play. Those bones want to get up and talk. Well, remember when so-and-so did this to you, it was because they was doing X, Y, Z. So I bet in this situation, that, and you're like, shut up, bones. Shut up, bones. <laughs> you're trying to dig a hole and put the bones back in the hole. And they're just steadily rattling. That happens in church. We can't even lie and say that it doesn't. You have voices. Sometimes they're voices from your past. Sometimes they're voices that sit by you. And they want to tell you all about how this ain't working. This ain't working. I don't want to do this. I don't want to come here no more. And then what? conflict and it's hard because we love the people we love and we don't want to let them down but what does it say if you don't go all the way with me you don't deserve me so have you ever had to make a hard decision have you ever had to choose between two things and it seems impossible like, how do, I, how do I do that? How do I choose between two, both of them excellent positions, both of them excellent reasonings, excellent everything? How do I choose? When it comes to our walk with Jesus, one thing is definitely prominent. We have to walk in love. Amen. Mm -hmm. And walking in love for hotheads ain't always easy and I'm gonna assume it ain't always easy for people that aren't hotheads mm -hmm. because people are people and they are broken and they have baggage and they decide that the baggage that they have somehow belongs on you mm -hmm. now nobody has ever looked at me and said you will choose church or me actually that's a lie I did have one person tell me that it didn't turn out well <laughs> but usually people don't put me in that position but I think without saying the word sometimes we do that to one another well you don't value our relationship because it is our only day where we could just lay around together and you get up and go to church Okay, well, you didn't say I have to choose you over church, but you kind of sort of just tried to guilt me. Is that cool? Then there's the whole, well, I don't like how you do things. So until you change how you do things, I'm not coming to church. That's kind of a reverse guilt thing. So here's the deal, people. If you come into church just for the people, you ain't coming to church for the right reason. Amen. Amen. If you come in here because you want to see how pretty Lynn looks every Sunday, mm -hmm. you coming for the wrong reason. That's right. <laughs> you're supposed to be here because your heart wants more of God. Amen. Mm -hmm. More of holy, more of spirit. Yeah. If you're coming here for any other reason, guess what? You're coming for the wrong reason. And it ain't going to work.
because there's always going to be something that pops up mm -hmm. that's more important. Yeah. And it's going to be easy for it to be more important to you because you're coming for the wrong reason to begin with. Mm -hmm. You have to be here because spirit calls you here. You have to be here because you want to walk with holy. You have to be here because it matters to you. If the love of God is shown to the people that you meet. And if you're going to be love and light, you have to have a place where you can renew your batteries, as That's my granny right. would say. That's right. You have to come here. You have to connect. Mm -hmm. Now, Christy, I can connect at home watching on Facebook Live. Y'all going to make me shut Facebook Live off. I'm just telling you right now because y'all want to <laughs> sit at home and watch on TV. That's a side note. Lord be with me. Oh, yeah. <laughs> but I'm saying, you have, yes, you've experienced God in other places. Yes, holy is with you everywhere you are. But we are a community. And when you're down, I can help you. Mm -hmm. When I'm down, you can help me. Amen. We can do that together. Yeah. We're stronger together. I've been saying this for how many weeks now, and I feel like y'all ain't hearing me and y'all ain't getting me. Hmm. I'm nodding at you that I see the time limit. <laughs> I'm just saying. All of the crap. All of the extra mess. Mm -hmm. It's always going to be able to keep you from getting here. Until your hearts are on fire for the right thing. Right, right. Amen. Amen. You have to come here because God calls you here. That's you right. have to come here because holy calls you here. Right. You have to come here because when you walk through that door. You know your home. Man. You know that you're with family. You know that when you're with these people, God is going to be here. Spirit's going to flow from the front door to the back door. That's, right. That's why you come here. That's right. You can't get that at home. Watch right. it on Facebook. I mean, you might can. I'm not sure really because I've never watched us on Facebook. But I'm saying it's different when you're here. That's right. It's different when you're here. The Spirit's different when you're here. That's right. The things that happen are different here. Mm -hmm. Facebook said amen. Facebook said amen. Boom. Yeah. I don't know who you are, but thank you for your amen. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> oh, that done messed me all up. <laughs> <laughs> what are you chasing is my question. See, me and a couple of people were talking this morning before church. And it's very clear to me what they're chasing. They want relationship with God. Mm -hmm. They want the Holy Spirit to be in this place right. in a way that they haven't seen it in a while. That's, right. That's what they're after. That's what they want. That's their passion. But they feel like every week they come in here and they're giving you all they've got. And they wonder if you're with them. Yeah. Because it's easy to get distracted. Mm -hmm. It's easy to sit there and think about, oh, well, when I leave here, I have to go to Lowe's and buy a weed eater. Yeah. <laughs> I really do. <laughs> <laughs> it's easy to sit here and go, oh, look, we have the new banner on the wall. Thank you, Woody Blue. Amen. Um, we, it's easy to be distracted by all of this stuff. And the truth is, guys and girls, until your main reason for being here is seeking relationship with divine, there's not much else I can do to stop the distractions for you. Mm. There's nothing Marcy can do. To stop the distractions for you. There's nothing anybody else can do. You have to be here because. You want to experience spirit. That's right. You have to be here. Because the passion inside of you. To be love and light. Fuels you. You have to be here for the right reasons. And if you're not here. Through thick and thin. If your first concern is to look after yourself, you're never going to find it. You're always going to be distracted. There's always going to be a million other things that matter more. That's right. Yep. 
until you forget about yourself and look to spirit, look to Jesus, look to holy. And that's where you find yourself. And guess what else you find? You find magic. Because there's magic in this community of believers. There's magic in doing this work together. There's magic in being a community. So I'm asking you in Facebook land and in here, search your heart. Why are you here? Why are you watching? Is it for the right reasons or is it for the wrong reasons? Because until it's about you becoming the best version of you can, that you can be by seeking holy, nothing else is going to work. Nothing else. I need God. Amen. Me too. I need holy. Whatever you call it. Spirit, holy, divine, God. Great and powerful spaghetti monster. I don't know. Whatever you call it. I need it. And my life is better when I'm here seeking and trying my best. That's right. I was telling Sherry last night that the part where it says, but if you forget about yourself and you look to me, you'll find both yourself and me. Mm -hmm. I told her last night, I said, you know, there was a time I didn't get that. I was like, that's stupid. How am I going to find me if I ain't looking for me? <laughs> and I mean, that's the question, right, in today's world. How do I find me if I'm not looking for me? I got to go look for myself first. And then I'll come back to seeking spiritual things. And that was the way I used to think. It didn't make any sense. And then I started actively pursuing this. I started actively pursuing walking in love and respect and community and making sure that if I took a move, it was because Spirit said, let's do this. And once I started doing it that way and running my life that way, the strangest thing happened. Christy, who's really good at hating herself, started loving herself. Thank you, mm. Jesus. Because there's something about walking hand in hand with the Holy. It changes the way you see the world, but it changes the way you see you too. Yeah. So yes, you do. As you forget about this and focus on building that relationship with the divine, you do find yourself. And it's a version of you that you never thought you would have. Mm -hmm. It's a new and improved Christy 3.0. 4.0. I don't even know what version we on, but you know what? God doing a good job. <laughs> and God's doing a good job on yeah. Thrive MCC too. Yeah. We just need y'all to trust us and come along. Yeah. Quit staying at home and watching Facebook. Mm -hmm. Point. What's the point? How do we end? Like this. The world will tell you what we just said, that you have to look for yourself. And they got a million books they want to sell you. Hmm. Here, go find yourself, because you can't help nobody else until you find yourself. I'm telling you, you will find yourself when you find holy. That's right. The more you walk with holy, mm -hmm. the clearer you will see the world around you, the clearer you will see yourself. Yeah. And the love that will surround you is worth all the bumps and bruises along the way. So come walk with us. Stroll with us. Wheel with us. Mm -hmm. We'll push a few of you. It doesn't matter. However, let's just do this together. Be here for the right reason. Make holy the fire that burns and brings you. Because that's how you change things. That's how you change the world. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. amen.